Hello, my friends. I am at Leap here today, and I'm with my brother, my brother, yes, from another mother, Mr. Fabian. We're going to talk about dip. What does dip mean? Well, it's not when you put your hands on your hips. It's not what goes into your lip. It actually is a much broader word that has to do with dressing. Dressing, I was going to make a joke about that too, but they're already tired of my bad dad jokes, Fabian. So let's talk about what dip actually means. Hi, Tony. Nice to meet you. And you. Well, um, if we talk about generative grinding, as we see in the machine here at the moment, we usually use a profile roll. I can show you this here as well, where we pre-profile and we profile the worm to sharpen the worm and to get the right profile into the worm before we grind the gear. Yeah? Yeah. So, the problem for us and better said for the most of our customers for the gears, you mainly use a special dresser yeah? because the requirement of our customers usually contains some slight modifications. Yeah? That's why the, the name comes Dresser Independent Modification. And that's what DIP stands for. Right. Okay. Dresser Independent Profile Modification. Okay. Yeah? That means we have to profile the worm and the worm has to contain this slight modification. And here we talk about some microns. Yeah? Usually the gears contains profile modification, a profile crown, um, some microns of a crown, some microns of a tip relief, where we, where we flat down the tip, or uh, as well as the root, or a combination of a crowning, tip relief, root relief. And all these modifications has to be in the dresser, who has a, if, if you would like to have the, the most econom economical uh, dressing uh, process. And in this process, Fabian, is this every piece that needs to be looked at again? Or is this a prototype piece? Is it the first piece and then everything repeats? Where does this complication come into play? Well, this is a situation where we can help with our new dressing software. Huh? Because now you do not have to go to your supplier, give them the drawing, make a design, wait several weeks, huh? wait several weeks because you have to manufacture a dedicated dresser after you really can go into your production and grind your gears. Because these ma microns, I, I told you, yeah. has to be ground into your dressing tube. Yeah? Am I hearing you correctly, Fabian? When I hear you say, when we have just a few microns that need to be fixed or dressed or cleaned, right. we have several weeks of production lead time in order to get the right process done for said part? Right. This is state of the art. And this is normal? Right. Absolutely. Sure. If you are a, uh, if you are a chop shopper, uh, if you make really single, single chop production, then you, you, not, you would like to use this process, right. but it makes no sense. It wouldn't make uh, sense at yeah. all. In this case, usually use a profile grinding or use a line dressing. A line dressing you can also in the line dressing, you can dress such a worm and you can also dress this uh, modification into the worm. But let me say it took forever. Yeah? It took much, much longer from the dressing time, from the production time. Um, flexibility is given, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but for sure, if you can use the, let me say, conventional dressing, conventional type of dressing and change the modification from chop to chop. Yeah? I can only, it's a quite, quite simple thing with our new software. I can, I can show you on the screen uh, yes, because please. at the moment um, there is a, a certain kind of modification program like, like a slightly profile crown uh, together with a tip relief but we can also change this uh, profile crown uh, as you see, oh sorry, now instead of two microns now we have four microns and now we have it only on the left flank and not on the right flank, sure we can, we can do it on both flanks as well, we have to dress the warm ones again and you will have this result. This seems to me, and to be fair for everyone watching, most people know that I come from the machining world and I've had the great opportunity to machine a lot of different products, but I've never had this opportunity. So yeah, it's somewhat it's new for me. It's special, yes. It's special, but sure. I'm fascinated by it. And it seems to me like this is, this is really a game changer. And I know we use that word a lot, so I apologize, but really a game changer for these job shop situations that want to get into this style of business, but don't have six Absolutely. to eight weeks of lead time right. to make these modifications. Right. Absolutely. Because 
game changer. Yeah, I, right. I, I usually do not use this word, except if we talk about the DIP, the dip, because here I see the main advantage for prototyping low and medium production, uh, medium, uh, medium uh, batch size production, because this is always the question for the customer, how many parts I have to grind per batch, how many parts I have to grind a year, does it make sense to buy a dresser or not? Uh, we do not talk about, we, we, we talk about four or five thousand bucks. Yeah? It's not, yeah. not, not that cheap. And maybe beside this uh, expensive tool, also the lead time is a, is a huge topic for a, for a chop shop or for a, for a production, for a, um, sorry, for a prototyping. Yeah, and something else I'd like to bring up, Fabian, uh, is repeatability because this seems to me like a really repeatable process. Once you have it in the system, Absolutely. it'll repeat. And you mentioned there's other ways to do it, but if I have a customer that orders, say, 10 parts, and then a year later they want those 10 parts again, I might not be able to make those parts exactly as they were previously with the old style of doing things, right? Oh, no problem if you have the dresser in And stock. with the dresser, <laughs> with this, it's no problem. Right. But previously, there might have yeah. been an issue in that. It wouldn't have been the same. But if we take a look to this dresser, for example, because it's a, we call it a flank dresser, we use it single flank mode and not double flank. That means the, yeah, the cycle time is not that perfect as for absolute mass production, but we can dress such a worm within three to four maybe five minutes, depending on your, on your gear, uh, depending on your, on your quality. Um, but what I would like to point out, such kind of dresser you can use for a certain range of module, for a certain range of pressure angle, and now for a certain range of modification. That means the flexibility, which comes from a little low percentage, is now raised up drastically. Oh, wow. So the majority or large portion of the products that we'd like to make in a small to medium sized job shop as we get into this can be supported by this machine without the massive lead time that it used Absolutely. to be. Absolutely, yeah, correct. Oh. At the moment we are preparing a demonstration for a customer. Usually this customer has to buy six different dressers. Yeah. We can do it with only one dresser. Sounds like my wife's closet. <laughs> I need one and she needs six. <laughs> I know this problem. <laughs> well. Yeah. Fabian, is there anything else you'd like to cover before I close this out? Because for me, this makes immense sense. And especially for the folks watching right now, the small to medium sized shops that wanted to get into this, this, we're going to use it again. And I apologize, game changer. This is a game changer for those types of shops. Well, uh, because we, we talked about um, prototyping. Mm -hmm. yeah? If I see now the, com the complete package we can deliver to a, to a prototype manufacturer, we can not only use the DIP, we can also use the software for grinding into solid. Uh, that means you would like to have a prototype or, or you would like to prototype a gear right now. You can do it with the machine. That means you do not order a hop tool for your hopping machine. You grind with our software, with this machine, with such a tool into solid. You can easily grind your, your parts. For sure, it took a bit more time, but you can do it right now. You, got, you go to the heat treatment, you, you manufacture your, your, your grind, your ODs, your, your IDs, and afterwards you go again to our machine, use the DIP software, and you can grind by generative grinding exactly the modification you would like to have. Wow. No special tool, no lead time, everything in one package. That's impressive. No wonder you wanted to make a video today. <laughs> it's not about how much you like cameras, it's about how important this information is for the audience, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Uh, for, 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 for me, it's very important. As mentioned, it's uh, one of the, the, inform the innovation, let me say. Yeah, uh, yeah it's really, I would really agree. really good innovation. Uh, thank you so much for being brave enough thank to join me on camera. Thanks Wonderful job. For having I you. hope this has helped you as well. Not everyone knows this technology, but if you're into this, this could be, sorry, I think this is the fourth time, game changer. This could be that game changer for you. Fabian, thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for being here as well. Have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. Fabian will be happy to answer it for you or reach out to Lee Bear anytime to dive into more details of what we described here today if you believe it's going to help your shop as well. We appreciate your time.